you've been put through it, but you're ready to continue the fight. The problem for me with the person in the Nine of Wands is that they're so on guard that they may not see or receive new messages that are coming through. But clearly here you've been put through something on an emotional level with the Ten of Cups falling out, but you're ready to continue the fight. Now, you are coming in with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups immediately to me says that you are sticking with something that is emotionally dragging you down. You know you need to walk away from it and you're done with it emotionally, but there is this feeling there with the Eight of Cups that you're kind of like still with it, you know. And that's why they say that it's about moving on emotionally before you do physically, because physically you haven't quite done it yet. What is crossing you is the Empress. So now I have to wonder here, you know, if maybe, you know, are you truly manifesting that emotional fulfillment? How can you if you're still stuck with things that are emotionally dragging you down? The Empress crossing you, I mean, I like seeing it in terms of, you know, manifestation and being able to manifest and really enjoy the things that, you know, you want to have in your life, which the Ten of Cups to me is saying emotional fulfillment, but there is a part of you that needs to walk away from what's dragging you down first before, you know, you're able to manifest beautiful things in your life. I like the Empress because there's this feeling of, you know, abundance, manifestation through love, right? But with that Nine of Wands, why are you so on guard? Okay. The conscious mind, the moon, your conscious thoughts. Oh my goodness. Seeing this to me, you know, immediately confusion blocking the intuition. Your conscious mind is not doing you any favors right now. You know, and then there's that other part with the moon too where you need to really start paying attention to your intuition, right? Tapping into your dreams, not getting caught up in illusions. Man, oh man. And you know what's funny is seeing the moon and that being the card of Pisces and thinking about, you know, Venus going stationary and then going direct in Pisces. <laughs> right? But immediately it's your intuition is blocked. You know? What, what are you chasing? Are you being deceived by your own desires right now? You know? Are you chasing something that is just an illusion? Man, oh man. In the subconscious mind, the Six of Pentacles being open to giving and receiving. And, you know, um, what I love about this is that, you know, the, it's like the subconscious mind is telling you that you need to be open to, you know, receiving the things that you are trying to manifest. Right? But the moon is saying that you need to be careful about the things that you're manifesting in your life. Especially if you're emotionally drugged down right now. If something is weighing you down emotionally that you haven't quite walked away from yet, when you go into the manifestation process, what is it that's going to manifest out of this? You know, if you're chasing illusions and you're still on guard from what has emotionally drug you down, you know. But, you know, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles there, there's this need to be open to receiving the things that you know, you're really truly wanting to manifest, which to me, again, goes back to the Ten of Cups falling out, right? Emotional fulfillment, which of course that's what Scorpio wants. I mean, you know, do we even really need to explain that? I mean, that's obvious, right? But there are internal things that need to change, for sure. Especially with the moon being in the conscious mind. Yeah, internal struggles consciously chasing something that you know may not be quite what you think it is and then wisdom right man oh man the past coming through so you know the eight of wands immediately to me i think about a fast moving situation communication that's coming in but you know maybe you're not quite hearing that communication the right way like you know, again, the moon tapping into your intuition 
and more importantly, your emotional intuition when it comes to the things that are being communicated to you, right? Especially if you're trying to manifest emotional fulfillment out of emotional blah. I mean, the Eight of Wands is also about grounding your dreams to Earth as well. You know, and looking at that with manifestation, yeah, there's a need to pull that down, right? But it's like you're still in this, like, dreamy state with the moon, especially with it being in the conscious mind. It's like your, your conscious and your subconscious mind is, like, all just jacked up right now when it comes to manifestation. Whew. Your next move, the Queen of Pentacles. So, now, when you talk about wise counsel and, you know, seeking advice from others, Right? The Queen of Pentacles? Absolutely, I would want to get advice from her. This could be an Earth sign. Now, this is also about you grounding yourself and not being so caught up in these illusions and these daydreams is what I feel like and chasing something that isn't really there or isn't what you think it is. I like the Queen of Pentacles as far as, you know, this being a person to seek wise counsel from because Earth signs, you know, it, I love the feeling there, especially with the description of the Queen of Pentacles. Again, you know, this is somebody when you knock on her door, she's like, come in, tell me your problems and I'll give you my two cents, you know, but if she's going to give her two cents, you better be open to it and you better be using it for your benefit. Because again, wisdom is saying if you're going to go and seek counsel, for having to deal with internal issues with what's going on in your conscious mind you have to take it in again the six of pentacles you need to be open to receiving that guidance you know if you have an earth sign around you that is wise if you're unloading your problems onto them the best thing to do is to take it into consideration don't just ignore it because you know i feel like the queen of pentacles is the perfect person to seek guidance from. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, it being your next move, needing to ground yourself, working with what you have instead of, you know, getting caught up in those illusions. And a man, Scorp, what the hell is going on? What is it that you're daydreaming about? Because whatever it is, is not what you think it is. Especially with you being on guard on top of all of that. Because, you know, you're coming in with this feeling of being emotionally drugged down. It's like, You've started something that just didn't, you know, pan out the way that you expected it to, but you're still sticking with it, even though emotionally you're, like, done with it, right? I mean, that's the Eight of Cups. And instead of walking away, you go into fantasy land. And you're, like, you know, thinking that you're manifesting emotional fulfillment, but, you know, what are you truly manifesting here, Right? And you need to be open to receiving that wise counsel and needing to ground yourself instead of being caught up in daydream land is what I feel like. Oh yeah, the way that you see yourself and the way that others see you, the Ten of Swords, there's, you know, there's an ending. Immediately with the Ten of Swords, you know, I always say this when I see this, you need to accept the ending here. It is a painful ending, but it is over with. It is the ending of pain. But you have to accept that it's over with. This is one of those endings to me. Immediately when I see it, I feel like somebody's still hanging on. You know, but clearly it's over with. There's nothing you can do. You are being released. But you have to accept it. And it's over with. Man, oh man, in your environment, much better, much, much better, the star. So out of that painful ending, there will be some healing and emotional balance, which is perfect. I love the star. Going with the flow of the universe and having that much needed emotional balance. You are definitely dealing with some personal issues for sure and needing to accept the ending of the situation. That may have happened quickly. You know, with that Eight of Wands coming through, I feel like this was a, something that was quick, you know? But again, there's that need there to ground yourself. Because the moon, man, thank God the star is sitting there. But 
it's frustrating. It's frustrating to look at because I, I, I know what this feels like. Emotionally, you're just there, yeah, but you're still doing the same shit day in and day out. But you're like daydreaming about the things that you really want to have, which clearly is emotional fulfillment. You're so on guard, right? You're, you're, you're like, and you know, again, with wisdom, seeing yourself through the eyes of another. And here it is this queen of pentacles, this person that you're like, I feel like you're unloading on them, right? Like, just like word vomit. Here is my life. Right? And they're like trying to tell you the way that they see it, but you have to be open to receiving that. <laughs> man, oh man. But there's going to be healing and hope for the future with the star, absolutely. Whew. Man, oh man. Your hopes and your fears, and I like seeing this, especially with this need to ground yourself in what you are really, truly trying to manifest. The Knight of Pentacles, to me, is that slow, methodical planning, you know, and this is fantastic news when it comes to, you know, creating security in your life, you know, new financial gain, new work, things like that. But again, it, it's that grounding feeling. I love it. You know, when you see the Earth cards and the Pentacles, there's this feeling of being close to the Earth. And here you're not charging in arrogantly or, you know, being stupid, right? <laughs> wisdom, going back to wisdom. You're hoping to, you know, really put a plan into action, but you are really taking a, a, a slow move forward. You know, methodical planning, it's slow methodical planning, <clears throat> which is better than you charging into something. I mean, look at it, you, you know, needing to ground yourself in the things that you're trying to manifest, you know. <sighs> man, oh man, this one's frustrating. And the outcome, the Queen of Wands. This is an outcome, you know, immediately I feel like for you, this is about, you know, again, with the Queen of Wands, I always say this, stepping into your own power. The Queen versus the King. She is the manager. She knows how to get shit organized and get things together, you know, and she's passionate and passion is a very familiar word to Scorpio. We're going to pull some clarifiers on her, but man, oh man, Scorp, you know, and be careful about the things that you're manifesting right now. Be open to receiving some wise counsel, especially if you're doing the word vomit thing with somebody who's close to you. And an earth sign, absolutely, I can see that. You know, if you have a friend who is an earth sign, go ahead and unload on them. But if you do it, be open to what they're going to say to you. You know, and I feel like what they're going to tell you is, hey man, it, it's over with. Now it's time to move on, right? What are you going to do now? Needing to ground yourself in the things that you're trying to manifest, right? Getting control over yourself and the illusions that may be surrounding your conscious mind. Now, the devil and the hangman. Shit. Shit. Yeah, I gotta have some wine. So, looking at the queen of wands next to the devil... I feel like this needs to be said. If you're dealing with a situation right now with a fire sign, you may be chaining yourself to something that is just not good for you. You know, and again, the power with the devil is being able to release yourself from those things, but you're definitely staying stuck, 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 stuck with something that is no good. And you know it. You know it. But you're choosing this. The hangman out of that. Needing to see things in a different perspective. Being in that limbo, right? Which I like that the Knight of Pentacles is in your hopes and your fears because you're slowing down and taking a minute to think about shit and trying to find enlightenment through being chained to something that clearly is no good for you. You know, that, that Queen of Wands for me is starting to show up like the King of Swords for me. I always immediately question, what are you doing? Who are you and what are you doing? And then seeing the devil pop up next to her, I just feel like it needs to be said. If you're chaining yourself to a situation with a fire sign, stop it. Stop doing that to yourself because it's no good. And you know it. You know it. 
you really need to ground yourself here instead of it, allowing yourself to be in a situation where like you're on guard emotionally. I almost feel like you're keeping those secrets between the nine of wands and the eight of cups and then seeing the moon. It's it, the feeling immediately to me is if you're in a situation that you know needs to be over with, but you continue to stay with it between these two, right? It's like you're going into fantasy land and fantasy land is the Ten of Cups and the Empress. But it's like, how do you get there? Well, you need to get there by releasing yourself and walking away from the shit that does not serve you. And the hangman is saying that you need to see the situation in a different perspective with this person. The Queen of Wands internally is about getting control of the situations that are around you and the things that you're chaining yourself to that are no good. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating to look at because it's like, I know I've done it before. You stay in a situation that you're not happy with and you're just in la-la land thinking about things that you would rather have and you're not truly manifesting them. And then, again, with wisdom. With wisdom. I, you know, seeing the two immediately to me says there is a friend that is trying to tell you, hey, stupid, you know, <laughs> wake up, right? It's time to snap out of this and start grounding yourself and start really making plans here to be done with this situation that's no good. The star is saying that there is hope for the future for you to have emotional balance. Because if you can sit and daydream about it, surely you can manifest it. 